they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish. Charity never fails. There are times when people start to prophesy. As I heard in my own ears one night, a preacher was prophesying into a church. But from the moment he started prophesying, something tells me that the man was speaking the truth. I would know that his prophecy was impossible. But nevertheless, charity is love. Without love, we cannot get in everything. That's right. Prophecy, tongues may fail. Prophecy may fail, but when we have love, it never fails. And I know that God loves me in a way that He gave His only Son for me to redeem me from sin. And I'm praying to God that He will never keep me for the rest of my days, that I will live from sin give to peace for the rest of the days. And I'm asking your brethren to pray for me as I go to see you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. 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 America Zero. We've got some sweet day. We have the other For there him is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Praise God. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. God is a good God. And today is May Sunday. And as you can see, there always be more men, more female in the church than men. It says that when Christ began his ministry, the first evangelist that went out and said, Come see a man was a woman that he ministered to. Yes. And we have seen that when he was being buried, it was a female that went and visited him first. Yes. While all the male doubt that he is going to resurrect again, they went to see what have happened to their Savior. Mm -hmm. And there, it has been that females is always on the forefront with the gospel. Mm -hmm. But it is the desire of God that men should be standing out to minister the word and to also to lead his people in, in this way. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that we should not have female pastor by that same honor um, a female ministry. And there is nothing wrong with that. I embrace it and I am for it. But I'm saying that the men need to be in the house of the Lord. So, so. But there is a place for men and it is in the house of the Lord. It is a way to bring up the family. The family, I don't believe, is complete. It's complete rather. Unless men are in forefront for God. For I was saying to someone recently that the way a man behaves, his children will also follow him, whether he want to believe it or not. If a man don't respect that his person and he exploit that individual, he exploit people, and his son saw the way that he treat others, then in return he won't respect anyone, he won't respect life. And he also will do the same thing. And his father may be wiser than him. But when he begins to exploit, his son begins to exploitation, he will always, most of the time, in and out of prison. Because he believes what he's doing is right. Yes. Because his father, he has saw his father have done it. So if a man has to pull up their rightful place, their rightful position, and in the church, and have a moral standard that they can teach, their sons and their daughters. The society would be better. True. But Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. And once we receive the gospel, it is the power. 
there's something about the gospel that is different from all other religion. It is the power of God. God has given us power. I was reading the scripture um, some time ago, just a couple days ago. And there's a section in Isaiah that the Lord that God said, He have made evil. God have made evil. And the scripture knows that everything that we see is made by God. Whether power or principality or anything that you can think of, it is made by God. And while I was meditating on that part of scripture, I come to my conclusion that the evil that God made is envy. I believe that that is the evil that God made. For when you look at envy, it's in everything. 99% or more of the murder that is committed is because of envy. Everything that you can think of is envy. When God made um, Lucifer, he was not, he was no devil. But when he sinned against God, I believe that he get a full dose of envy. The whole envy of possessing. Yeah. That evil of possessing and changing from a half angel to a fallen one. For God only have one half angel at a time. And because of that evil and possessing, then he could not appreciate God no more. There's nothing that he, he is in him, there's no truth in him, there's only darkness in him. And we have seen in scripture where that is what he used against the man and the woman. Letting them believe that they can create and become like God. They have used envy to cause them to sin and to have been so from the beginning. And I believe that it will come a time that God will destroy all of this. But men have a place, and that is to be in the house of the Lord, ministering the word of God. And they should not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, because it is a power unto salvation. Amen. Amen.
and the boys shall see. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise him. I remember when Jesus was in the boat laying down, sleeping. Yes. And the storm came. Yes. And the wind blew. The and the water raging. And the boat rocking. Yes. And we could see the sky and the cruelty of the sky. And we see darkness overshadow the boat. They said, Master, the Master was sleeping. You know something, when the storm of life come upon us, Jesus is there, yes. saying, Peace be still. Yes. I am with you, my child. Don't fear. Yes. Fear not. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what happened to this world. That's Jesus right. says, Fear not. That's right. I am with you. Yes. I will deliver you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Jesus never fails. Never. Hallelujah. The word says heaven and earth shall pass. But Jesus never fails. Never fail. This world, this world we live in today shall pass. Yes. It shall not always remain. That's right. Hallelujah. Peter said this world shall pass away with further Yes, sir. Hallelujah. The earth, the elements, shall be burnt. Burn it shall burn as a oven. Yes, sir. And leave in that root of branches. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we that stand in Jesus, we shall remain. We shall remain. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. If I just share this with you for just a few moments. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise Him. I want to look at the scriptures taken from Peter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Very good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Peter. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to look at scriptures as to find Peter. Praise the name of Jesus. Second Peter. Chapter 3. Hallelujah. I just want to read from verse 3 down to about verse 6 and 7. Listen to what the apostle Peter says. In verse 3, in 2 Peter, 2 Peter 3, verse 3 going down. He says, Knowing this, first, they shall come in the last days. Praise the name of Jesus. Scuffles. Mm -hmm. Walking after their own lust. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since our father fell asleep, all things continue. And they are as they were from the beginning. Praise the Lord. For this they willing, willingly are ignorant of, that the word of God, the heavens were made of all. The earth standeth out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that was being overflowed in the water perish. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, preserved unto fire mm -hmm. against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So Peter is saying here that the last day they shall have scoffers. Mm. People who say, what are we doing going to church? What are we doing talking about Jesus? Jesus is coming soon. They say, I've been hearing this because from I was a child. 
Even when I was a child, I heard Jesus is coming soon. Now I'm a man, I hear Jesus is coming soon. But I believe Jesus is coming soon. True, true, brother. Because the signs perceive is coming. Mm. And we are living now in revelation. Mm. We are li literally living in revelation. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the word says, it was so in the days of Noah. Because Noah preached. A God appeared to Noah and said, Build me an ark. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I shall bring waters upon the earth. Hallelujah. And they did not believe that rain was going to fall. And Noah preached for 120 years. It is going to rain. While he hammered and built the ark. He said, It's going to rain. Repent, it's going to rain. And they left as lovers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. But no, I'll continue building. Brethren, we have to continue bringing the word of Jesus to the people. Hallelujah. Praise the name for our witness. Praise the Lord Jesus. And Prince, watch him 20 years he preached. He built the ark. Praise the Lord Jesus. And the people suffered. And until the time come, God says, Okay, now I'll bring two of each animals into the ark. Of every creature, every animal, bring them into the ark. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Bible says, A day with the Lord is as a thousand years. Yes. A thousand years is as a day. Yeah, yeah. Our timetable is not God's timetable. God has a different timetable. Yes. God has a different It's different from ours. God says, My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. You cannot comprehend the thoughts of God. We cannot comprehend the ways of God. That's why He's God. Yes. As He said in Revelation, He is the Almighty. Yes. He says, I am God. And besides me, there's no God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But no preach until the day that all animals came into the ark. And there was clouds gathering. Right now, Jesus is coming soon. And the clouds are gathering. Hallelujah. We need to get into the ark. If we're not in the ark, we need to get into the ark because Jesus is coming, the clouds is gathering. Hallelujah. When it was about to rain in the time of Noah, the cloud gathered and the rain began to fall. And the rain descended. And the rain descended. Hallelujah. Only when the rain began to fall, people begin to realize that Noah was speaking the truth. Hallelujah! But then it was too late. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. My brethren, if there's anyone here who wants to see Jesus, yes. don't let it be too late. Yes. Don't let it be too late. Because when the door was shut, when God, not Noah, God shut the door. When God shut the door, what happened? The door will be shut soon. True, sir. We see the times is telling us the door will be shut soon. Yes. Bible says when we see all these things happening, what is happening now? The complex of nations. There's no way to look for government now. Government cannot help us. Government will be held themselves. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. He says when you see these things, look up.